But first of all, let's have a look at the distributive. Now you need to remember, you don't need to know the names of any laws except for De Morgan's law for the exam. You just need to be able to apply them. Right, distributive, this again, it's really about multi applying out or factoring. It's a sort of thing in maths you would do like this. You might get a um, x times y plus z. And you could multiply that out in maths to give you that. Or if you were given um, Um, you might get something like that. So it's the sort of thing you can do now. Boolean algebra is a bit more relaxed than uh, maths when it comes to these factoring and multiplying out. So I've given you two examples here um, because they are well or easy to show in Boolean. So if I have a, a 1 and a 2. If we have a look at number 1 first. Multiplying out, we could do that. If I have an A and not A or B, I could multiply that out. So that would become A and not A, or A and B. Now hopefully, you're getting the hang of this, straight away you see there we've got an identity. That identity is the equivalent to zero, so we get that, or A and B. Zero or anything, you're just left with the A or B. So there's a simple multiplying out. Now what you might find is you get a more complex multiplying out. Um, I hope you don't, but it's always possible that you'd get something um, like this. In this case you do the same things you do in maths. You do that times that, oh, sorry that, 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 and that. So the A, we get the A and not A, or A and B, or B, that's not B, and not A, or not B, and B. So you could multiply it out like that. I doubt in the exam they would give you that much more likely it's going to be multiply out like this where you have to just multiply it out now um, if it's a or we can do this it works just as well if I have this for example a B or uh, B and A I can multiply that out, so that gets, I get B or, not B or, B and not B or A, which gives me uh, not B or B is always 1, so I get 1 and not B and A, which equals not B and A, anything and 1 gives itself. So there's a couple of examples. I wouldn't worry too much about this one. I don't anticipate that that's going to come up just because it's quite long-winded. Much more likely you'll be asked to multiply out an example like that or like that. Right, now the other part of it is factoring. So if I find a bit of space, I think I managed to zoom out there, go back in. Um, so if I just draw a line, 
we can also factor. So you might be given something similar to this. Um, a, oh, it's a bit of a strange A, not B, and A or B. Now, if looking at that, what you see straight away is there's an A over here and there's an A over here. So we can take that out. So we can take out the A. And what I'm left with is the B and the not the not B and the B. And that goes in there like that. Now after I've done that, if you're a bit worried, you know, a bit confused, how did I know what operators did, how do I know that was a plus? How did I know that was a, a dot? I know that because that's the pattern. Whatever the operator was inside the brackets is now outside. Whatever was outside the brackets is now inside. If you're not sure, you could do a quick multiply out which would give you so you'd have A or not B and A or B so yeah my factoring was good now that factoring is useful because now we've got our identity not B and B is always 0 so we get an A or 0 which is equal to A I need to make a bit of space now, so I'm just going to go back over here, get rid of this, or some of it at least. And here we can have a go at the last one. How about if we had this, not A and B, or A and B. Again, we look at that and we can see that there's a B here and there's a B here so I can take out the B so that becomes if I take out my B I get that now remember the operator was inside that was inside the bracket now goes outside and the operator that was outside the bracket goes inside um, so I've taken the B out so what I'm left with is a not A over there and an A over there again an identity not a or a is always one so I get B or one which equals B and there are the rules that you need the basic rules that you need just to recap them you've got the um, if I go up I keep going up we've got the brackets the brackets idea that if the um, or the operators. If the operators are the same, you can move your brackets, you can move your terms. Then, ooh, I had a quick look at the absorption. For the absorption, what you need is to recognize these, this pattern and this pattern, where you've got an AND outside and an OR inside, or an OR outside and an AND inside, and the term that's outside is also within the brackets. So it's got to match these two these two rules here. Operators must be different, and the term outside must also be inside. And if that ha if you see that, then you can apply the absorption law. We went through here. We talked about which ones were correct. So again, we looked at the operators. Are they different? And is the thing outside the, here in this case the A also inside? So there are those three rules. Then we talked about distributive rule the multiplying out or factoring um, where basically you can use this pattern not necessarily correct in maths but you can use it in boolean where you can either multiply out or you can factor so here the y, the x and the y x and the z here we, we factor out the x from both sides and we're left with just um, y z remembering if I go down to this example when we're factoring, the t the operator that was inside the bracket, well, that goes to the outside, and the one that was outside is now inside. So we look f look for what was in, in both sides, take that out, take that operator, put it here, draw your brackets, take the operator that was here, put it here, and then just put whatever's left back in that bracket, and hopefully that if you. Really, if you've done it right, you're going to get an identity most probably. It'll either be an identity or 
possibly absorption. Although we probably wouldn't have got there if it was absorption in the first place. So there are, there are some of those laws. Now, the last thing I want to do is just to demonstrate an example of this with the absorption law, a proof of the absorption law. Now, this isn't particularly easy, and feel free to switch off now if you're happy with what you've done and you, no, you don't really want to go through this. Okay, those that are still here, let's hope there's some of you. Let me write out the absorption law, one version of the absorption law first. We say that that equals A. The operators are different and A is both inside and outside. To prove that this is true, I do this. A, well that's the same as saying A or zero. And if I do that, I can say that that is equal. That's, e that's the same thing, because A or zero, well that's just A. But if I have that expression, I can then factor it. Distributive law, I can take out the A. So I can take out the A from both sides, and what I'm left with is 0 and B. So again here, the A is what I'm factoring out. The, the OR was inside the bracket, it's now outside the bracket. The AND was outside the bracket, it's now inside the bracket. And I'm left with a 0, and I'm left with a B. Now that, 0 and B, if you 0, zero uh, and a false and something is always zero. A or zero is always A. So that's the proof of that version. That's why it's true. If I take the second um, way of writing it, actually, let's do it with a f some some other terms. Stop sticking, oh, stop sticking with um, A's and B's. Let's say not C or D and not C. So there's an expression of the absorption law. The not C is both inside and outside, and the operators are different. Again, in this case, I can say that not C and 1, sorry, that's not what I wanted. I don't want the and. Hang on, let me undo. I do want and, I wrote all. Not C and 1 is not C, or D and not C. So that's just, that's that's the same. So I'm saying the same thing here, because that is the same as that. This point, I've got not C on both sides, so let's factor it out. The um, and was inside, so that now goes outside. The plus was outside, so that goes in here. And what was I left with? 1 and a D. So the 1 goes in, the D goes in. That then, 1 or D, 1 or anything, is 1. So I'm left with not C or 1, sorry, and 1. Not C and 1, well that's C, not C. So there's the second proof. So that's an example of how you can use a distributive law. This step here, Ooh. from here to here that they are equal and here to here and that they are equal well that's that's a hard step and it's not always very easy to see but and I seriously doubt there'd ever, ever be anything as hard as that on the exam you never know but hopefully now you've seen it if it does come up you'll be prepared